Welcome to the BCC OHP Online Renewal Tutorial. The first step is to visit the BCC OHP website at www.oralhealthbc.ca and log in to the online portal. For a tutorial on how to log into the portal, please view video here. Once you have logged into your account, under the Welcome to the BCC OHP Portal banner, you will see a Time to Renew banner, along with the green Start Now button. There is also an instructional video that will help you navigate and complete the forms. You can view the video at any time during the renewal process by simply clicking on the dashboard icon which will bring you back to the welcome page and will save the progress of your form. Click on the Start Now button and that will take you into the online renewal form. The renewal application form can be saved after each step should you need to come back to finish the application at a later time. Introduction. This section will outline what is needed to complete renewal, pay your fees, changes to registration or certification categories, unrenewed registration or certification, continuous practice hours, and criminal record check requirements. In the introduction section, it requires you to first select the registration or certification category that you wish to renew for and then confirm that you meet the eligibility requirements to renew. In the event that you don't meet the eligibility requirements to renew, you will see the pending requirement or outstanding invoices and instructions on how to follow up on them or to make payments. Once it is confirmed that you are eligible for renewal, you can then click Next to continue to the next step. The Addresses section is where you can update your account information. Once you have made your updates, click the Save Account Information button to save your changes. You can also verify your address here. If you want to update your address, click the Action button, then select Edit. Once the information is updated, click the Update button, and then click Next to move to Step 3. The Corporations section is for those with corporations and is only applicable for dentists and denturists. If this section does not apply to you, you can skip forward to the next step. In this step, you will be required to confirm that the information listed is correct and up to date. Select the response that reflects your answer. Click Next. If you see that the information is incorrect and needs to be updated, you can still proceed with the renewal form. After you complete the renewal form, you can contact the corporation team at corporations at oralhealthbc.ca to make changes to your corporation record. If your corporations is or are not listed here, please contact the corporation team to update the records. The sedation section is applicable for dentist registrants only. If this section does not apply to you, you can skip forward to the next step. If you administer sedation and or general anesthesia or are a sedation and or general anesthesia facility owner, you are required to answer the sedation questions. If the sedation facility information being displayed is incorrect, you are required to contact the sedation and general anesthesia program at sedation at oralhealthbc.ca to update the information. BCC OHP submits a criminal record check application to the Ministry on behalf of oral health professionals every five years. As such, we collect $5.60 during each annual renewal period for the CRC check. If you are due for a criminal record check, a consent form will appear in the portal during the annual renewal process. In this section, you will be asked to answer a series of questions. You will need to follow the prompts on the screen to complete and submit the form. Your renewal is not complete until you make your payment. You can pay online by Visa or MasterCard, or you can mail a check or money order to the BCC OHP offices. Select your option to complete payment, receive a payment summary or an invoice, and return to the dashboard to check your application status. Once payment is successful, you will receive a confirmation message. Following that, you will be redirected to your welcome page where you will see your invoice number, the status of your form submission, and you can proceed with any other portal changes if needed.